Hi, Assalamualaikum and a very good morning. So now we're going to do some tutorial discussion for chapter 2. And now we're going to focus on the subtopic of 2.2, which is quantum mechanical model. So we're going to discuss four questions, tutorial question 1, question 2, 3, and 4 respectively. So without any further ado, let us start. So for tutorial question 1, we need to give one set of quantum numbers for an electron in 2s, 4p, and 3d orbital. So when the electron is in 2s, you know that uh, the n value is going to be 2, l here is going to be 0, because 0 here refers to s, and then when l equal to 0, m is going to be 0. And then your s here, you can decide by your own. You can choose half, positive half, or negative half. Okay, and remember, the l value here, 0, 1, 2, 3 can be represented by number uh, by letter which is S, P, T, e, F. Okay, so since it is S, so you know that L is equal to 0. Okay, and now because it says we need to give one set, so we can say that N, L, M, S equal to 2, 0, 0, and plus half. So I need to decide which one of those. So I decide to use plus half. So if your answer is between this one or this one, then you are correct. But if you write both, then you are wrong. So you need to choose either this one or this one. Okay? So for, for, for 4p, uh, we're going to do the same thing, which is we know that n is equal to 4 because the energy level is equal to 4. And then l is equal to 1 because it refers to p. And then when l is equal to 1, we have M here we have three possible options, which is negative one, zero, and plus one. Okay, and for S here, we have positive half or negative half for each case here. So for me, I will choose one, which is NLMS is equal to four, one, and then I choose negative one, and then I choose plus half here. So Another possible answer is like this. So if your answer is in within one of these, then you are correct. Now we're going to move on to 3D. So similarly as before, n is equal to 3, and then we are talking about d orbital, so l is equal to 2. And when l is equal to 2, that you know that your m can be negative 2, negative 1, 0, plus 1, and plus 2. And each and for every case, s here can be plus half or minus half. So you're going to have 10 options altogether. Okay, and for me, I'm going to use NLMS is equal to 3, 2, negative 2, and then I choose plus half here. So the other answers that it's acceptable is listed here. So if your answer is in between this option here, then you are correct. All right. Now we're going to move on to the tutorial question 2. For each set of quantum numbers, which is given in this um, table here, we need to state the name of their orbital. So for A, it has an, an energy level of 2, and then your L here is going to be 0. So it's going to become 2s. For B, it's going to become 3p. Eh, sorry, 3e. Okay? L is equal to 2, so it's going to become 3p. And then for your c, it's going to become 5p here. Alright, and for question b, how many orbital in each set? So in order to find the number of orbital, we need to find the m. Okay, and as you know that, when n equal to 2, l equal to 0, your m here will automatically equal to 0 as well. And for 3D, because L is equal to 2, then your M here are going to have 5 possible values, which is negative 2, negative 1, 0, plus 1, and plus 2. Because the value of M will depend on L, which is negative L, uh, 0, uh, negative L smaller or equal to 0, and then it is in the range of positive L. Okay, and then for here, we're going to have 
three possible values, which is negative one, zero, and plus one. So for A, we're going to have one orbital. Here, we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, five orbital. And then for here, we're going to have three orbital. So one, five, and three orbital. And then for question number three, we need to determine the maximum number of electrons that can, that can occupy each orbital. So um, one orbital and feed two electrons. So since A have one orbital, so you know that it can fit two electrons. And five multiplied by two, so you're gonna get 10 electrons. And for C, 3 times 2 is going to be 6 electrons. So maximum number is, uh, is written here, which is 2, 10, and 6. And as mentioned in lecture, you can imagine it to be something like this. For example, 2s is going to have 1 orbital, so it can fit 2 electrons. For 3d, okay, it's going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then it's going to be 10 electrons in total maximum because we are talking about maximum and then for 5p we have px py and pz so you're gonna fit six electron maxi no all right so now for tutorial question three which of the following quantum numbers and lms are not allowed and then we need to explain the answer so for a here we have one one zero and plus half so when our n is equal to 1, our l here, 1. Is it acceptable or not? Yes, it is not acceptable. Because when our n is equal to 1, our l here need to be n minus 1 up to 0. So 1 minus 1, we can only have 0. So this is not allowed. And the reason is, when n equal to 1, the only allowed value of L is going to be 0. Alright, now let's move on to B. So when n is equal to 3, L is equal to 1. Yes, this is allowed because L here will have various options, which is L equal to 2, L equal to 1, and L equal to 0. Okay, so 1 is acceptable. And then because you are choosing L equal to 1, then your m here need to be dependent on the l that has been chosen. So you're going to be three options, which is negative one, zero, and plus one. So either one of those values. But now they're chosen as negative two. So this is not allowed because the only possible value is in between these three because m need to be depend on the l value here, the angular momentum. So for this reason, um, this NLMS quantum number is not allowed. This is because when L is equal to 1, the only allowed value of M should be negative 1 or 0 or plus 1. Alright, now how about the C here? So when N equal to 2, we have L is equal to 1, which is fine. And then when L is equal to 1, then our M here can be negative 1, 0 and plus 1. So here is correct, 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 no problem. And then our S here can be plus half or minus half. So this is also okay. So this for this NLMS, this is allowed. And then for D, we have N equal to 2. When N equal to 2, we have L is equal to 0. When L equal to 0, we have M equal to 0. Okay, correct. And then we have S equal to plus half. So this one is also allowed. Okay, so this is how you um, analyze the NLMS uh, quantum number and then give the reason if it is not allowed. Alright? Now for question 4. Calcium is the chemical element with symbol Ca and atomic number 20. Calcium is a soft grey alkaline earth metal and is the fifth most abundant element by mass in the earth crust. So we need to find the number of electron with the principal quantum number n equal to 4 angular momentum quantum number L equal to 1, magnetic quantum number M equal to 0, and spin quantum number S equal to negative 1. And then we need to draw the shape when N equal to 3. So this can be quite complex if you read it 
as it is. Okay, and in order to answer this question very effectively, uh, what you can do is you can write the SPDF notation first. And then from the SPDF notation, you can change it into orbital diagram so that you can see the idea very, very clearly. So as mentioned, the atomic number here refers to proton number. Okay, so calcium will have 20 proton number. And, and in the neutral state, the number of proton is going to be the same as the number of electron. Okay, so... Um, you can write the SPDF notation first. So it's going to be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. So we have 10 already. And then we have 3s2, 3p6. Okay, so we have 18. And then lastly, we have 4s2. So this is going to be our SPDF notation here. Okay, and as mentioned, we need to convert that into orbital diagram so that you can see it clearly. So Okay, similarly as before, so you just fill it in, 1s2, 2s2, and then 2p6, fill in singly first, and then only you pair it, and then we have 3s2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then 2 here. So we have 20 electron in total. And then for question number 1, we need to find the number of electron with the principal quantum number n is equal to 4. So the number of electron that has energy level or principal quantum number 4 is 1 and 2 electron. Okay, here and here. So we can say that, uh, that uh, the condition that satisfy number 1 here is going to be 2 electron. For question number 2, we need to find the number of electron with angular momentum L is equal to 1. So when L is equal to 1, we know that it is referring to P orbital. Okay, so the P orbital that we have is here and here. So the total number of electrons that we have is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we're going to have 12 electrons. And now we have magnetic quantum number M equal to 0. So, m is equal to 0. So, m equal to 0 can happen when l is equal to 0. Okay? So, at the same time, l is equal to 1 will have m equal to negative 1, uh, 0, and then plus 1. Okay? So, basically, we need to look into the s orbital. Because we know that when the s orbital automatically they will have m equal to 0 and l equal to 1 is referring to p orbital but we only count one of the orbital because p orbital will have 3 1 2 and 3 which is negative 1 0 and plus 1 but now we just want to focus on one of the orbital let's say the middle one here okay so what you're going to do is you need to calculate uh, the number of electrons that have m equal to 0, which is in s orbital. This one is counted, this one is counted, this one is counted, and this one is counted. For p orbital, because we have three orbital, the x, p, y, and p, z, so it's representing negative 1, 0, and plus 1. So we only need to focus on one of the three orbitals. So we select the middle one. So the total number of electrons that we have is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So we're going to have 12 electrons as well. Alright? And now for question number 4 here, the spin quantum number S equal to negative half. So negative half, you can assume it to be downwards here. So you need to count in this orbital diagram here, how many will have the downwards arrow. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So I'm going to have 10 electron that has s equal to negative half. Alright, now we're going to move on to the question B here, which is we need to draw the shape of the orbital when n is equal to 
3. Okay, so when n is equal to 3, you know that you're going to have a 3s orbital and you're going to have a 3p orbital. So you're going to draw um, 3s and 3p orbital, where in 3p, you're going to have 3px, 3py, and 3pz. So in order to draw orbital, you need to have the axis. So you draw your x axis, your y axis, and then the z axis in passing through the intersection between x and y. And in order to draw for the 3s orbital, we're going to draw a spherical shape. Okay? And we need to put a label. So you can put the label here or nearby to the axis. Okay? So without the label, then your answer is going to be wrong. And then you're going to repeat the same process for 3px, 3py, and 3pz. Okay? So 3px, 3py, and 3pz. And remember, the p, the p orbital here referring a dumbbell shape. And, and in p orbital, it means that it is on the axis. Okay, so when you draw your x axis, y axis, and z axis, when you're talking about px, then the dumbbell is going to be on the x axis. When you're drawing for 3py, the orbital is going to be on the y axis. When you're talking about 3pz, then your orbital here, the dumbbell shape here, is going to be on the z axis. Alright, so this is how you answer question 4 of the tutorial question. So I think that's all for today's video. See you again some other time. Bye!